Hi. How are you? I hope you can hear those beautiful nature sounds. I found a nice little spot to just reflect and I decided I'd make a video since though we're very lucky with the weather today and I feel very relaxed and comforted and I want you to feel that as well. So I got out my little book and I just started writing. I hope to do that more often now that I'm having more time to myself and I get to be in nature. What I thought I would do is make a mini series of ASMR videos focusing on my writing focusing on my reflection and taking you along with me each step of the way so maybe this is going to be the first part of many more like this to come and I hope that can be enjoyable for you. It works quite well for me to come sit, reflect and write and finally make a video. It's a nice little creation process. <laughs> so this is what I just wrote. It's very hot. As I sit here in nature, reflecting on my experiences over the last six months, I'm filled with a sense of knowing, a sense of accomplishment, and a sense of sadness that this part of my life is over. I'm so lucky to have been in these environments with these spectacular people, not because it was easy and fun, but because it taught me a lot, that which I can be proud of. I'm not even sure how I did it. And now, as I rejuvenate myself in the sun, my mind begins to wander towards what's next. What more crazy, challenging tests can I put myself through? How can I better my skills, my confidence, my relationships? Is it okay to say that in this moment I feel a great deal of love for myself? It took gaining the approval of someone whom I so desperately wanted to impress for me to feel this way. So I've decided I want to feel love for myself as often as possible. Through simple things, like accomplishing something I never thought I could do. Pushing myself out of my comfort zone so I don't stay an introverted young girl all my life. Perfecting a talent that has laid dormant within me all my life copiously waiting for me to practice and get better over and over again. I feel like this is just the beginning. And if you believe in what the ancient Egyptians did, then you'll know that even death isn't the end. Well, unless your heart weighs more than a feather, because apparently 
then it will be the end for you. So, I say this to you now. And me. Therefore, it is not a choice, but something I would strongly recommend to you. Work on yourself. Push yourself. Don't wait for tomorrow to do the things your heart is calling out for you to do. Don't you want to pass the test of your own judgment? <laughs> and there we have it. Ultimately, I think that the idea of hell is just another way to push us to go faster, to be at the place we need to be. To take our Dharma path earlier in our lives so that we can just grow infinitely. I'm not sure why I feel the need to change myself or more of myself into something better. I, I think any of those labels is not a good thing because it means that already I feel I'm imperfect. But I don't. I think I'm perfect the way I am. That doesn't stop me from thinking I can do better and thinking that I could be so much more. And yeah. So maybe this will just be a short video. And perhaps I can do part two for you in another beautiful place. And probably somewhere that's not quite as warm. Because I am sweating to death. I have no sun cream on, which is a rookie mistake. <laughs> okay. Be well, my friends, and I really hope you stay tuned for the next chapter in this story, fantasy world of travel and insight, philosophy, you name it, it's here. <laughs> Alright. Peace and love to you.